my name is Amber. I'm a software engineer for Alt Space VR. Uh, this is our website, altvr.com, if you want to learn more about us. And I'm going to be talking about how you can build web apps that run inside of Alt Space VR. So, how many here, has anyone here used Alt Space VR? Oh, a few people. Awesome. That's really cool. So, we're available on HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Gear VR. So, I'm just going to start up Alt Space. And the first thing you do is pick what your avatar looks like. So as you can see, this is a native app, right? This is running on my Windows PC, uh, or it's going to be running on your Android phone if you're using Gear VR, this guy right here. Uh, so why am I talking at an HTML5 meetup if, if, this, if Altspace is a native app? Well, the reason is, is because Altspace has an embedded web browser inside it. And there it is, right there. So this. Um, oh, let me just look around. So I'm using the arrow keys to turn, um, turn around in the environment, but if this is a 2D uh, representation. If I had the VR headset connected to my computer, I would just need to turn my head, and I would, I would see the whole room around me. So I'm, I'm using a 2D mode for the presentation, but it's a lot cooler in VR. You really feel like you're in this space. So as I mentioned, we have an embedded web browser. Um, it's a version of Chromium, and right now it's... Whoop, Right now, it's running uh, this little 3JS app, uh, which is one of their example apps. And you know, this is this is pretty cool to have this cat here uh, on the screen. But it'd be even cooler if this cat was like in the space with me, if the cat was like in alt space and I could like walk around it. So I'm going to show you how we can make that happen. So we use our alt space SDK to basically take 3JS apps and spawn them inside of alt space. So it might sound a little confusing, but I'm actually going to do a live coding example where I uh, edit this app, this 3JS app, to run inside of alt space. So I'm going to copy this URL, uh, go back to my web browser. Here's the cats again. Uh, so I'm going to do view source. Oh, there's, there's sound with this app, that little sound music, but I turned it off because it can get a little uh, repetitive. Um, okay, so here's my, uh, so yeah, 3JS three, three, three is a JavaScript graphics framework that uh, Boris mentioned. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, Jav JavaScript code using the 3JS uh, library. So I'm going to save this so I can edit it. Just going to save it to my desktop. Cool. I'm going to open it with my text editor. Great. So hopefully uh, the people in the back can can see my code here. But I'll also uh, I'll also try to explain what I'm doing. So great. So uh, first the little. Um, thing we need to change. This was a 3JS app running inside of their website, so they were using local uh, scripts. But I, I'm going to just uh, use the one that is hosted online. So I'm going to change this to use the uh, 3JS library that's hosted on their CDN. I'm just going to copy that and put that here. Great. Uh, okay. Oh, I just one more, I need to change. I'm just going to comment out this line. We don't need a detector since we know we are running WebGL on this computer. Okay, so the main thing we need to change is when you're running this 3JS app in a traditional web browser, we're using the 3JS the WebGL renderer. So we're instantiating the WebGL renderer to render to our WebGL canvas in the web browser. But if you want to run this app in alt space, instead of, render, instead of using the WebGL renderer, you're going to use the alt space renderer that's going to render your scene into alt space. So I'm going <coughs> to add a check here to see if I'm running in alt space. 
So if window has own property, alt space. So in our alt space browser, we, we add this property um, to the window. So that's how you know you're in alt space. And if I'm not running in alt space, I'm just going to use the standard WebGL renderer. But if I am running in alt space, instead of using this standard renderer, I'm going to say alt space dot get 3JS renderer. So now this app is going to have a different renderer depending if it's in the normal web browser or if it's running in the alt space web browser. Cool. OK, so let's see what happens when we run this in alt space. And hopefully I don't have any typos in my JavaScript here. So I'm, I'm going to have to ho host this, um, this file locally. I'm going to use the prepros um, web thing. Great. Great. Yay, no typos. OK, so um, you can see I'm running on localhost. So this is running on my machine. Uh, so I'm going to copy this into alt space. Uh, yay, it's there, but it's really small. So uh, you might have to adjust the scale a little bit uh, in alt space. Oh, and since this is on localhost, if there was someone else in the room with me, they wouldn't see this, right? This is only for development. Um, for an actual app you want running in alt space, you'll have to host it. Uh, somewhere like that's accessible. Uh, yeah, I'm in this room by myself for, for demo purposes, but usually there's a lot of other users in here. That's kind of the point of alt space is you have all these avatars in a space, interacting, talking, um, using apps like this. So, but it's just me here right now. Uh, right, so the need to make the cat a little bit bigger so we can get the full experience. So I'm just going to increase the scale of my scene. So scene, scale, scene dot scale dot multiply scalar uh, scene dot scale multiply scalar because the scale is actually a, a vector it's an x y z um, vector so I'm going to multiply uh, all three of those coordinates by ten great now hopefully this is going to make it bigger yes all right here we go. So now this cat is not just trapped on the web page. It's actually like it's escaped and it's in alt space. It's actually inside the world with me. So I, it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of a flat cat. But if you can see, it's actually in the space with me and the little sparkles are like all around me. And again, this looks a lot cooler in VR. You can like look up at the cat and like look around. Um, but here you're just seeing it on the 2D. But so there, with just that simple change, I was able to s spawn this cat in alt space. And just a caveat, that this, is, this won't necessarily work for all 3JS apps, because there's some 3JS um, things that we don't you know, support, like custom shaders or some um, advanced graphics stuff. So uh, this won't work for like, all 3JS apps, but uh, a lot of them it will work. Um, one last thing I want to show you. So it's neat to have this cat kind of on the wall there, but it'd be, it'd be cooler if it was kind of more in the space, right? That's what we really want, is sort of in the space. So in addition to these kind of web browser panels or screens that you see here, we, in alt space, we also have the idea of kind of a enclosure, which is sort of a, a volume, a three-dimensional volume or box that are designed especially for running these uh, 3D web apps. Um, and there's one in this space, kind of in the corner here. So I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to kill this one because it's using a lot of uh, CPU here. So let's just, let's just clear that cat. And then we're going to, uh, whoop, load it again over here in this enclosure. OK. Cool. So now he's more in the middle. But I have this, well, I have this kind of web page here, which I don't really want. So let me fix that, the kind of page there. And all you do to get rid of that is to make 
your background transparent. If you make the background and the web page transparent, you'll get rid of that. So document body dot style dot background color. And then we're going to make it RGBA. So RGB with an alpha channel, and the alpha channel we're going to set to zero to make the background fully transparent. There, that looks a lot better. So here we are, we have our, uh, our cat, and I can walk under him, or her, I guess, I don't know. It, now I'm behind it. So, so this, this is cat is like really like in alt space, is in the virtual environment with us. Uh, so I'll just, um, most out of time, so I'll just say a few words about kind of how this happens, uh, technical details. So uh, this cat right now is actually, um, so alt space is a Unity app, right? It's built with the Unity game engine. And when we went, the alt space renderer, what that does is it takes your 3JS scene graph and converts those 3JS objects into Unity game objects. So it takes the 3JS scene that you've written in JavaScript and it converts it into Unity objects, Unity game objects that it then spawns into Alt Space VR. So uh, it's a very sort of uh, unique approach we're taking here, but we think it's, it's, it's really a, a cool option to give developers like you uh, another option to get your apps into alt space, uh, get your apps into VR, to build apps for VR specifically for alt space VR. So we're not using the web VR API that Boris and Brandon uh, talked about because we're not rendering to WebGL. Uh, as I mentioned, we're rendering to uh, alt space. So this is another option for you, or you can make an app that's compatible with both the web VR API and with the alt space renderer. So the choice is yours. <laughs> And that concludes my talk. And I'm also going to be on the Q&A uh, at the end if you have additional questions or during the break. Feel free to find me. Uh, again, my name is Amber, and I work for Altspace VR. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Amber Roy VR, A-M-B-E-R-O-Y-V-R. -E and all that information is also on the HTML5 website if you want to look it up later. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>